Hello. Well, I'm finding myself in Dartmoor. I've basically come home for a couple of days and uh, thought I'd come and have a look around and see what's uh, going on on Dartmoor. Um, it's a place, it's one of those places where if you grow up around Dartmoor, you tend to take it for granted and it wasn't something that I realised I took for granted until I moved away. Now, obviously I enjoy going around the Lake District and the Lake District is basically Dartmoor on steroids. Um, but I've noticed there's lots of places that I don't know or didn't know existed and I've come to this one place uh, where there's a waterfall that looked nice on my research on the internet so I've just come down to go for a walk today to have a look see if I can find it and hopefully take some pictures. down a small track and come across this beautiful little scene here. So what we'll do is we'll get set up and see what we can find. I'm sure there's an image in there that's beautiful. So I'll, uh, I'll get set up and uh, talk you through the composition. There. This is looking quite nice. Uh, the background trees are looking a little bit busy, uh, looks a little bit messy. So I'm hoping that we can isolate uh, the front tree. Uh, as you can see, it branches out and covers or frames the water running underneath it. Um, it's just creating a nice little white water effect going on there, and the water is basically running off to the left of the frame and the trunk uh, of the tree and the branches of the tree are framing it. So I'm hoping that looks like good. So this is what I've done on the back of the camera. You can see my framing. Uh, that's too much reflection going on there. I've put on a polarizer onto the camera just to take out the glare of this uh, very iron rich water. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice reddish glow to it or hue. Um, and keeping in the foreground, I, I like the color, the contrast between the red of the water and the gravel and sand and the greens of the boughs of the branch. Um, it gives a lovely warm, um, a lovely warm image. Uh, so what I've done there is I've got the camera set on F14 uh, and that will give me a, a shutter of about a sixth of a second, which is just enough to keep a bit of detail in the image on the water side, but also give that lo lovely milky flow uh, to the water um, leading off to the left of the image. Um, in the foreground, I think, like I say, the contrast of the red of the gravel uh, it looks quite pleasing uh, to the eye. So um, I'll take the image now. Uh, two second timer. Um, F, uh, yes, F14, uh, ISO 100. Uh, two second timer, and we'll take that image. coming in we've also got this tree which annoyingly cuts across the waterfall so I kind of want to keep that up and out of the way because it's kind of distracting coming along there although it does if we're careful we can use it to frame the top as you can see there's nothing going on in the sky there's nothing on the trees or anything like that 
so that's going to be a little bit sort of problematic in the image it's going to just distract obviously the lightest part of the image always takes your eye so we're going to do away with the sky we're going to bring it right down so we can come down and we can take in this beautiful rossy mop rossy mop mossy rock in the bottom and there's a lot of glare obviously with this camera on the water so we've taken the polarizer and uh, we've popped that on up and hopefully we can get a, a decent image of that uh, I think the lights going again um, and it's coming in uh, with rain um, so we've been fairly lucky so far but um, hopefully I'm going to take this image and uh, I've got about 30 seconds left on my memory card in this thing so uh, good old newbie era so I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll uh, talk you through the image okay well I've been in this location now for about an hour uh, clicking around finding some really good compositions I've come further up the waterfall as you might be able to see and um, what we've got at the moment if i'll talk you quickly through this is i've got we've got this branch running through which i have been using to frame it from above and it's quite easy to frame things from above but i thought well why not move the camera up and get this to frame the bottom and so we can use the top of the waterfall itself as, a, as its own frame and then we can frame uh, the bottom of the image with uh, this branch and also what I like as well is that the, the water is running through and out of the, out of the scene uh, and um, hopefully uh, it makes people think, well, where's that going? Now, as I was dragging my girth up this steep incline, because uh, I wanted to get to the ridge, obviously, but to go back to the car, um, I've just spent obviously the past hour and a half or so down in the gully, in the gorge, uh, taking a picture of those waterfalls. Uh, coming back up here, this um, granite rock caught my attention with all the lichen and bits and pieces on it. Now, I think I need a lichen friend or a somebody that knows about all these things because I mean this is just beautiful there's so many different contrasts in the colors of green and all the rest of it um, I thought well, it just caught my eye as I was as I was going by and um, yeah it's a beautiful little shot so um, if I show you what uh, what's going on this is what uh, this is what caught my eye uh, all this all this beautiful greens uh, going on and the lichen on the on the granite rock and so what we've got uh, if that shows up at all is hopefully a beautiful little composition there so i focus stacked it um, taking into consideration uh, the granite and the lichen on the granite and also we've got the, gra the lichen on the granite we've got this little ridge going along here uh, and also i've done a couple of uh, focus um, points just on these uh, little points here uh, and then obviously combining them all in so i can get a good uh, hopefully get it sharp from front Back to here i don't care so much about what's going on at the back here and obviously we've got all the the dead uh, heather and ferns and what have you going on in the background uh, that should hopefully uh, give a nice dark background to the actual image once it comes um, once i've finished uh, in photoshop so we can obviously highlight everything that's going on into this area uh, and hopefully if it's all nicely uh, in focus um, it should be a pleasing image
in us again and the wind and the rain's coming in so now it's time to head home so if you like the images that we've seen today in today's video it'd be great if you could leave a like and subscribe so you get notifications for the next video if i put another one up and uh yeah yeah i'll put some more of the images from today's little trip um up shortly with a bit of music